Hi everyone, welcome to a new video for Homo Shepherd today, which is going to be really driven. Um, today we're going to talk about how to measure and design and manufacture parts. Uh, we also need, uh, for example, uh, make new mounting points and end tanks for the intercooler. And also we need to make some new parts to make the rear suspension. Over here you can see the intercooler core and the radiator. We chose for a radiator which normally fits in a Honda S2000. And the intercooler core is from Garrett. So we want this radiator to mount in the center of the car. So to begin with, we need to know what is the center of the car. So we're going down and measure. We also measure the radiator for its middle point. So it's a little less than 34. A little less. And now we need a di no distance between those uh, two radiator support points. And it's exactly in the middle, it's 63 and a half. Over here Aaron is uh, noting down the size of the radiator and the, at least the size we need in order to make the new parts. We will make this drawing in CAD format and finally we will take the files to the plasma cutter for cutting. So with the measurement of 31.7 we now mark them on the jetty. Also on the other side. So whenever we cut those new brackets, we first, we first need to uh, remove all the old brackets. In order to clear the chassis, we need to know the distance till something. And it's around 4 cm of the center of the pin. So to mount the base plate on the car, we need as much flat surface as possible. So if you look at this side and that side, um, this one is the difficult side and that one is the easy side. Uh, so we choose to um, mirror this side to the easy side. So we took some measurements and we found like 4 centimeters to the hole of the radiator mount. And because we do that, we know the radiator will fit uh, floating in front of it and we want to go to the intercooler support also and that's why we need to measure how much space we need to the front this will be like uh, eight and a half centimeters and with the eight and a half centimeters we need to go to the next mounting point on the intercooler the intercooler doesn't have any uh, support so we can weld them on but it's easy to mount them around the middle. So we take four and a half centimeters. This will be the center line of the car. And we know we want the radiate support bolt of hole to be at 31.7. Yeah. It will be 31.7. After that, we need four centimeters to clear the chassis. It will be four centimeters, and after that we need eight four eight point five centimeter till the chassis beam is over, and after that we want uh, half plus the uh, four and a half, so five centimeters till the next hole. This hole needs to be at twenty four centimeters from the center. And that's how we know where to place everything. It will look something like this. So we drill some holes to support the weight uh, with some bolts. So he measured the core at 51 centimeter and 9 centimeter 
and a height of 32 cm. With this in mind, he can ensure he fits inside of the bumper. The space within the bumper is around 35 cm, so no worries, no need to cut a lot. And here, yet we are at SolidWorks. Um, we are designing the end tanks of the intercooler. As you can see over here. We first load the part into sheet cam. This is an in-between step to go from part to machine coding. In order to get the part with the right dimension, we select the inner cut lines and the outer ones. And some more coding needed to be made. Over here we have a 10 mm sheet metal plate, which is fucking heavy. This plate over here weighs around 80 kilograms and it's not easy to handle. We finally made the 
parts for the Civic. This is made out of 10 mm sheet metal. Uh, this is the brake caliper and uh, wheel bearing uh, bracket. Over here we have the end tanks 3 mm aluminum <laughs> uh, for, the, um, for the intercooler. And over here we have some parts left, uh, which are for the rear suspension. This is the, uh, the brackets for the intercooler to mount them. And over here, this is for the rear suspension as well. And over here we have some couple of rings. Now we've seen the plasma cutting, next part is putting it together with welding and make something out of it. <laughs> 